Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to make a spectrum analyzer. Uh, you only need two tools. First, you need some type of a software defined radio platform. In our case, in my case, I'm using HackRF and a Linux distribution, which is known as Dragon OS Focal. Uh, why am I using this particular distribution? Before I came to know of Dragon OS, uh, I was using Ubuntu and then I have to compile different tools which are there. I have to go to their GitHub repository and then I was already having issues when it comes to uh, your dependencies and things like that. Uh, that's the issue I, that I was facing. But when it comes to Dragon OS Focal, everything can come pre-compile. So I don't have to worry about compiling this again and again. And that was the huge thing for me. Uh, because I was always getting lost when it comes to compiling these different tools because I mean that's probably for some people it's not a problem but for me it was a huge thing so the tool that we're going to use is called HackRF HackRF Spectrum Analyzer to be exact so it's there in other go to HackRF Spectrum Analyzer once you go there simply elicit once you elicit you will see that it's in green which means I can run it as a Python script uh, once I run this particular script, here we go. So I can see the frequency that is sweeping by default is sweeping from 2400 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz, which is actually a Wi-Fi band. And I can see some activity which is taking place at different bands in a form of a bursty type of a signal. Just like in a regular spectrum analyzer, I can increase my gain. Variable gain, that also increases my gain. And also I can increase the sample size as well. So I have increased my sample size as well. You can play around with FFT bins. Uh, you can clearly see the palette, uh, the waterfall palette as well. Now, let's say you want to tune in from different frequency. Let's say you want to go in from 400 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz. So you're seeing all of that signal. Let's say you want to focus on a particular signal band, which is somewhere around this band, 958 megahertz. So I can go in and I can go from 900 900 and then I can go all the way up to here or I can just simply go in and look at nine from 900 megahertz all the way up to let's go to 970 and let me just increase this. so now you're just basically focus on signals which are from 900 megahertz all the way up to 970 just like in a regular spectrum analyzer you can uh, you can tune in the knob you can actually uh, decide to start and uh, stop band and all of that just like that you can do it using HackRF spectrum analyzer which is a built-in tool that is available uh, in 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 dragon os focal let's say you want to sweep in to only a band which is called an 1800 band you can also do that so now basically you're just looking at a band that is from 1800 megahertz all the way up to 1970 you can see that at once that's the cool thing about this type of a spectrum this spectrum analyzer is you can actually visualize this entire band uh like you you always have restriction when it comes to using GNU radio because you're limited in terms of a bandwidth and a samp rate but here you can just look at the entire band from 1800 megahertz all the way up to 1970 that's the cool thing about this particular tool that i'm using uh let's say you want to just look at a band that is from 20 Let's say you just want to look at up to 2270 and you want to look at somewhere around 2000 from. So let's say you want to look at from from 2000 megahertz all the way up to 3270. I mean, that's that's big, a big number. I mean, let me just move the. So now basically what you're looking at, this is probably this is an LTE band that you're seeing the transmission. LTE transmission which is taking place so so that's the idea behind this cool tool I hope you like this small tutorial I mean I am just here to introduce the tool you can do a lot more things with that but I, my job is, is just to introduce the different tools which are available to us when it comes to software defined radio so if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching